Because she didn't want to stay there with my... Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we are going to be playing with the NYX Martin collection. Yes, I am super excited. We have so third collection with Revolution. I'm I'm excited. I'm excited. If you are into makeup, if you love Revolution, then you will know that this is already out. It is exciting. I thought I'd get the whole collection. Well. Not the whole collection but I've bought majority of the collection and I thought let's review it together let's do this so yeah so if you didn't know Sophie's already come out with two other collections with Revolution she launched a couple of other eyeshadow palettes that kind of thing I have got them here with me so like in her first collection she launched this palette which is just the soap palette mine's actually broken actually broken um <laughs> but yeah this is when she had like the names on a name sheet and this was her first ever palette. As you can see, I clearly liked the white shade down here. But yeah, this palette is beautiful. Uh, so this was like her first launch that she did. I love it. I love it. I love this palette. I just, oh, her first one will always be a fave for me. And at the same time, she did launch her highlighter palette. Again, as you can tell, kind of love this highlighter palette. I'm obsessed with it. Like, look at it. Can you see? Can you see, guess which ones are my favourite shades? Like, can you guess? And then in her second collection, she came out with three lipstick shades. Um, I'm not gonna like pull them out or anything because, yeah, I just thought I'd have them here to show you guys. And she also launched the extra spicy palette, which is similar packaging to the original one that she launched. It's just in reverse. So like her soap here, like her name is in like a metallic rose gold and the packaging is like a nude matte packaging but then on this it's like it's rose gold metallic and then her name's like a matte nude so yeah as this is her extra spice palette i love this palette i think it is beautiful beautiful so many pretty shades but now she's launched a third collection with revolution and i had to pick some bits up because i have to review it so she has launched two eyeshadow palettes and then she has launched three different highlighter palettes for different skin tones and then she's also come out with lip kits that have like a lip liner and also a lip like a tinted lip balm i believe so yeah we're going to be testing out the whole collection um so yeah let's just jump right into it okay so the first thing i picked up let's talk off let's start off with the big palette so she has launched a palette um this is 18 shades in it her original ones do have 18 shades in it as well this is just like a different packaging like her new ones like a cardboard packaging um it's a bit thicker than like these ones so yeah but they do contain the same amount of shades and this one this is so up my alley oh my gosh it is so up my alley it is unreal so this is the palette. So this is the packaging of the palette. So pretty. I like how she stuck to the whole nude theme still. Like a nude, like rose gold metallic theme. I really like that. I like the packaging. I really like it. This is the super spice palette, by the way, guys. So it is so pretty. And on the inside, you get all these beautiful shades now compared to like her first two palettes she's definitely gotten a lot more colorful with these shades i um i love it i love it I, you got you still got some really nice neutrals in here and she has she has kept um two of the shades which were in her um extra spice palette in here so she kept um brownies and also cookie dough so she put them into this palette as well yeah, there's so many pretty shades in here like, look at it it's gorgeous i was gonna swatch the eyeshadow palette at the end but i'm thinking you know what let's just swatch it now um so i'm just gonna swatch a few of the shades in here That's... that shade is beautiful okay so here's a few of the shades swatched um they actually swatch really nicely like look at that gold shade there oh my gosh it's like a champagne gold so pretty 
and they matte swatch really well too sorry i swatched it dead awkward but yeah they're the shades some of the shades that i've swatched so nice and by the way guys you do get five uh, five shimmers in this palette and the rest are mattes so you do get 13 mattes which is honestly a lot of mattes um but i'm excited so yeah let's move on to the next palette and let's see let me show you guys the next palette so yeah Okay, so the next palette comes in like similar packaging. This just has the mini shadow on it. I don't know if I actually told you guys, but like on the big palette, it has a shadow in the background. You can kind of see, but then on the mini palette, it has like mini shadow behind the sofa. So yeah, same as the packaging. The card packaging is basically the same as the palette. So yeah, this is called the mini spice palette. So this is meant to be similar to the extra spice, but just in like like a mini palette form so yes um i think there is like a few shades in here that she's taken out and like put into this mini palette if that kind of makes sense especially with the mattes i think the two shimmer shades are like a new kind of formula um but yeah you can definitely tell that she's taken some of the favorite matte shades from this palette and put it into the mini palette i probably didn't need this however I wanted it and that's that um so yeah this is so pretty so pretty i need to swatch them shimmer shades but you get some really pretty shades in here um if you love the extra spice palette but you wanted like a mini version of it then this is your girl like this is this is your girl um so you get some beautiful warm tone browns you also get like a more of a neutral kind of brown in here you get a yellow you get a red and you get these beautiful two like champagne goldy kind of shades so i'm gonna swatch a couple of shades oh that shade's so pretty there you go so there's a few shades swatched i didn't want to swatch the whole palette but yeah these do not have shade names they're just like by themselves so yeah but the other palette did have shade names if you can if you remember seeing on the palette that there is shade names but yeah this one doesn't have shade names these two shades here oh my god they're amazing they're amazing she did say that these two are like a new formula i think so it's like you can definitely tell that it's a new formula and i'm here for it okay moving on we have i picked up two of the base highlighter palettes i'm excited i'm excited i love a good highlighter palette i'm just I'm just gonna be honest i'm just gonna say it so like i said she did come out with three obviously i didn't pick up one of them because it was going to be way too dark and not work for my skin tone so i picked up sugar frosting and then i also picked up cookies and cream now like these are different like colors but on the background again if the packaging does have glow on it so you will know the difference if you keep like your eyeshadow palettes together with your highlighter palettes i don't know just in case you do but yeah um so she said that these ones are like a similar like kind of meant to be really similar to like what she launched in these just a little bit more like a newer kind of formula i believe so yeah i love this highlighter palette so a new formula is like yeah okay so we have the first one here this is the sugar frosting one oh my god it is beautiful and she does have the like her s imprinted on one of them in each palette but yeah let me swatch these two look amazing now i think she said that these two are meant to be like similar to the first two in the palette so like this one and this one let me swatch to compare so i've put her new ones on this side let me swatch her like old ones to compare just to kind of see she said that they're not exactly the same but they're like similar um they are kind of similar so this side is from the newer pa palette and this side is from the older palette you can definitely tell that this one like the new ones feel a lot more smoother like when i swatch them but yeah i'm excited to play with it i'm excited and the other one i picked up was cookies and cream 
So again, same kind of packaging, that kind of thing. Oh my gosh. So this is beautiful, this one. It looks quite dark in the pan for me, but I'm excited. Let me swatch it. So she said that the like these two are meant to be similar to the end two of the top row. You can kind of see, maybe kind of similar. Let me swatch them. I don't know if this is going to be too dark for, for me. I thought it was going to work because I do when she said it in the, the video. I was like, oh, I like I do use the N2 shades quite a bit. I mean, I might, I might be able to once I get my foundation on and whatnot. So that is them two swatched. Beautiful, beautiful shades. Let me swatch the other two in her first palette. Let's just see. They are very similar. To be fair, it's so like these these two other ones from a newer palette, and these two other ones are from her old palette, like her original one. I feel like her newer one might have a bit of like a darker undertone, maybe. Um, but still, nonetheless, I am excited to try. I'm excited to try. By the way, guys, I totally forgot to mention prices. So all of her like her eyeshadow, her mini eyeshadow palette, and her like her glow highlights palettes are all eight pounds. Um, her large palette, her extra super spice palette, sorry, is twelve pounds, which honestly is an absolute bargain. And the last two things that she came out with was a lip liner and lip balm. So these are also retail for eight pounds. Um, so I'll try and remember to link all the links in the description box down below if I can remember. Um, but at the minute I think that it's still on 3 for 2, hopefully by the time this video goes up it's still on 3 for 2. Um, because yeah, you might as well get 3 for 2. So yeah, she came out with two new lip liner and lip balm <laughs> duos and I'm excited. So the first one she's come out with is Candy Icing. So cute, love the packaging. Ugh. When she launched these, I was like, oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, so this is what the lip liner and the lip balm look like in the packaging. They're very similar, kind of like she's kept it with the rose gold kind of theme. I'm gonna swatch the lip liner and lip balm from the candy icing duo. So this is candy icing. So obviously on the this side is the lip liner and then we have the lip balm next to it. I am so excited to try this out. I love a good lip balm. Anything to keep my lips hydrated, I am all about. So yeah, I like that. And then we have the Toffee Drizzle one. I did open the packaging, love the packaging. Really nice. And then we have the lip liner and the lip balm packaging. Again, very similar, just obviously different like lids, that kind of thing. So let me swatch. So this one here is the Toffee Drizzle ones with the lip liner and then we have the lip balm. I think that this one, the, the Toffee Drizzle lip balm is a lot lighter than the Candy Icing one. So yeah, I'm excited to try these out. I'm super excited. Okay, so yeah, in today's video I'm going to be using the big palette. I'm going to be using the Super Spice palette and then I'll probably be using one of the highlighter palettes. I'm not too sure which, but we will soon find out. Um, so I'm gonna quickly just go ahead, I'm gonna prime my lids off camera, zoom you guys in, and then we're going to jump on into playing with this palette. I am super excited. See, so yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm thinking like a purpley kind of look today, like a pinky purple kind of look, maybe like a blue on the bottom lash line. Um, so I'm gonna take the shade Papa first, which is this purple shade here. I really want to use that dreamy shade on my lid like I just I feel like it's necessary to use it so yeah I'm just gonna take the first shade Papa let's just see this is all like I did just prime my lids using the Beat Bit Eye Base by the way guys so yeah that's what I've been using at the minute let's see what's 
is like packed on. That shade is beautiful. Packs on really well. Um, maybe like a tiny bit of fallout, but nothing crazy. I really like it. Really like it. I love that shade. It is gorgeous. It's definitely got like a kind of like a pinky kind of undertone to it as well, which is quite nice. So yeah, I'm here for it. I'm then gonna go into the shade I love her, which is this pink shade here. I feel like I just need to take it because it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. See how pigmented this is. This shade packs on really well it blends out the purple really nicely no complaints whatsoever like whatsoever like how pretty I love Sove's collections I feel like she really just kills it with all the collections that she does and it's nice that she's come out with a more colourful kind of palette because her first two ones, like, although they do have pops of colour in it, it's not, like, super colourful. So it's nice that she's come out with a more colourful palette, especially because a lot of people nowadays love a bit of colour. Like, you know I do. If you've been here before, if you know me, you know how much I love colour. So, yeah. I'm then going to take a little bit of the To Be Fair, To Be Fair shade, sorry, the white one here, just because as you can see, you know, it's just a bit difficult to kind of blend out. So taking, I do this quite a bit with like all the palettes as well, like taking like a creamy kind of shade, like or a white shade. If you are like a similar skin tone to me, just taking a lighter shade can just like a, like a white shade or like a cream shade can just help to blend out them edges just make it a little bit more seamless um I like so sad like you use this shade with a different color and it's gonna make it more like pastel which is kind of the vibes that we're going for so yeah I'm quickly just gonna go ahead I'm gonna go off camera I'm just gonna build these two shades up like I usually do I literally just build them up one more time blend them out one more time and then I'm, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut my crease and then we'll be back to do these lid shades together. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back, literally just cut my crease um, and applied the purple shade to the outer edges. Again, so yeah, I'm going to go into the shade Dreamy, which is this shade here. We're going to take that, we're going to put it all over the lid because I just need to. It looks gorgeous, I'm excited. Oh, it's very, I think I've... I dug my brush in a bit too, a bit too hard. It's like a duochrome shade. I definitely dug my brush in a bit too hard. No. She said in her video it was like a lilac shimmer, I think. But I would definitely say it's got like a bit of like a teal effect to it. But it's like gorgeous. it's very soft so when you go in with your brush just be quite careful because it's quite crumbly and um, I've managed to get it everywhere I definitely went in a bit too heavy-handed with my brush which you know I mean it's okay it doesn't really matter too much but you know it's just very it's just very crumbly it's very soft so just be careful going in I think I was definitely a bit too heavy-handed I'm just gonna go back into that purple shade again the shade Papa just to like blend on the outer edges just to make sure that it is super blended you know and then I think I was gonna take a little bit of the white shade um it's like an inner corner kind of highlight but I think I might come back to the highlight on my inner corner and use one of the highlight palettes 
because yeah because there's no other like in a corner shade highlight in here that I would use um, for this kind of look anyway so yeah what I'm going to quickly do is I'm just going to go off head go off camera I'm going to apply my lashes apply my base and then of course we're going to come back I will use I will come back and use the palette on my lower lash line and I will do obviously my highlighter and I'll be back to do the lip as well so I'll be right back okay so I'm back a little bit yeah <laughs> we're gonna finish up the eyes now so like I said I'm gonna be using the blue shade from the palette which is this one here on my lower lash line honestly I just kind of felt like it I was thinking you know what let's just use it so I'm just gonna it's quite like a pale pastel blue shade I thought you know what quite nice and um, I'm just gonna take like a another little blending brush and I'm gonna take the white to be fair shade this one here and I'm just gonna run that just underneath where I applied that blue shade just then it like helps to blend it a little bit easier it's quite like a nice pastel kind of blue shade but yeah you you get where I'm coming from for an inner corner shade I'm gonna dip into a palette like I said before I'm gonna dip into like one of the highlighter palettes and um, I'm feeling like the lighter one maybe if we could go for this shade so this is the sugar frosting palette so I'm gonna take that little the shade that has the S in it because it's lighter and I'm gonna pop this on my inner corner and we'll see what it looks like Ooh, that's so pretty. I'm not gonna pop any on my brow bone, I'm just not feeling it today. But that is so stunning. As an inner corner shade, like look how gorgeous that is. I think we're gonna stick with this palette for the highlighter as well. So I don't know what shade to use. Maybe we should use this shade, then use the shade on top. So yeah. Uh, I'm just going to spritz my face. I always spritz my face using a Morphe setting spray. It just helps all my other powders sink into my skin a little bit easier. So I'm going to go in with the darker shade first, which is like this one here. From the palette, let's see what it looks like. So it's darker, like it's not super dark, but yeah buffing this in oh look at that I am sorry look at this glow I love her other highlighter palette anyway like I love it if you couldn't tell but yeah ah obsessed I'm going to take a bit of the lighter shade, that's the one that has the S in it, just like on my nose. Oh yeah, look at that glow. Hmm. Can we talk about this glow though? Please ignore my skin at the minute, my skin is like not that great, but yeah, it is beautiful. Look at that. But I say it's similar to like her other highlighter that she has in her other palette. Yeah, but it is, you know, it's definitely got a lot more of like a smoother kind of formula like look at that it's definitely got like a more of a glow um there it's more like oh, icy i think it's like an icy like effect so pretty i've got a bit of mascara on my lower lash line now i'm so annoyed okay so moving on to the lips i'm gonna use the lighter lip kit just because i'm kind of feeling it this is the, the candy icing one i keep forgetting what it's called so i'm gonna go in with the lip liner first we'll see kind of like how this is it felt dead creamy when I swatched it. That's so stunning. Dead creamy, really nice. Let's go in with the lip balm on top. Let's see, this one's had a, definitely had a bit of a tint to it. 
Oh, it smells like vanilla. That's so pretty. And it's nice as well because it feels it feels so comfortable on the lips, but it still looks cute because it's got the lip liner with it. But you could probably just wear this by itself. You know, I'm no makeup makeup kind of days. It's really nice, really comfortable. And it looks nice. It looks like a lipstick. Like it actually looks like a lipstick. I don't know. Whoa, this is a genius. Who? Why didn't anyone think of this before? Like what? Okay, guys. So this is it for today's video. Let me know what you think about the look. What do you guys think? Let me know. So yes, let's talk about some of these products now. Um, yeah, we got there a lot today. So talking about the palette first off amazing absolutely amazing i love the color story it's totally up my alley you guys probably already know this love a bit of color but i also like how she's kept a couple of neutral shades in here as well you know the neutral gals out there i love it um yeah this is probably how to be my favorite palette out of all the palettes that she's launched like it does the mattes so beautiful so pigmented easy to blend and these shimmers are gorgeous obviously i only used the one shimmer today but this shade is oh, look at this it's beautiful i'm obsessed i actually love it i like how she's got a white in here i like how she's got a black i like how she's got so many different shades you can do so many different looks with this um and yeah i'm obsessed obsessed for 12 pounds it's a bargain and i just i love it I like the packaging I like Oh, I just I like it. I like it. If you're thinking about picking it up, definitely go pick it up. It's a drugstore. It's cheap. Love it. Um, obviously I can't talk about the mini eyeshadow palette, but I will be doing a separate video on this palette, and I'll probably do. I'll probably use this palette, and I'll probably use the other highlighter palette, the other the one that I didn't use today, and then I'll probably use the lip kit that I didn't use today as well. Just then you guys can see like the best of both you can see everything um but yeah um so the highlighter palette that i did use today oh, this is gorgeous this is actually beautiful so glowy look at that oh my gosh you guys know if you've been here before then you know i love a good glow i'm a highlighter goddess like i love i love i love highlighter um so yeah this is it's amazing it is so pigmented it's kind of similar to her other one but I would definitely say that it's an upgraded formula, obviously upgraded packaging, obviously you do get more highlighter like in here, if that kind of makes sense. Like there's more product in here, so it just kind of makes sense. And also it's going to be great for traveling, so if you like her original palette but you literally only use two of the shades, like it's going to be great for traveling if you pick like these little guys up because handy, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, also as well, like if you already ran out of like two of the top two shades from the highlighter palette, you can pick up one of these palettes and you'll be good to go. Like that's, you know, because for me, I know that I only use the top row. So like these can maybe like replace the palette, but I'm still going to keep the palette obviously, but yeah. Um, but I definitely think that the formula is upgraded and it is beautiful. Love it. Love it. Uh, okay, moving on to the lip balm and lip liner. I love this. I love this. I don't know why anyone didn't think of this before. See, when I don't wear like makeup, I always wear like a lip balm. I always like my lips to be hydrated. And I love the idea of this. Like who, why didn't anyone think of this before? I love it. And I also love how you get a lip liner as well. So you can obviously kind of go for that like, yeah, like my lips look good kind of thing. Like I'm definitely wearing something, but then it's like, bam, I've got a lip balm on. My lips are moisturized, they're hydrated. You know, you don't have that like, not a like thickness of a lipstick, but I kind of want to say that because sometimes some like liquid lipsticks or like even like satin lipsticks can feel quite heavy on the lips. And it's like, bam, no, I got a nice lip balm. It doesn't feel heavy. It just feels nice and hydrated. And I love this shade. The shade is beautiful. I'm excited to try the other shade as well. Uh, of course, I will be doing a video using, like I said before, the mini eyeshadow palette, the other highlighter palettes, and the other lip balm, the one that I didn't use today. And um, so, yeah, that'll be coming soon. So stay tuned for that. 
but yeah i really hope you enjoyed today's video guys if you did please remember to hit a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it would really help me out as always everything that i'm wearing on my face i will link in the description box down below in case you guys are interested and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye